Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Cultures. And there is new stuff afoot in the Minoan era. Two of which you can see right in front of you, as I am now upgrading my barracks. Um, I haven't really been having any combat issues, but you know what? Stronger soldiers is a good idea. Of course, it's going to be more costly to restore them now, but, you know, you got to have them, right? When you move up in eras, you have to have stronger fighters, right? And uh, the melee are actually the backbone, so that's a good thing. And one and two. Boom and boom. All right, let's just take a look. Okay, they have really nice shiny armor now. Very good. The thing is, they require three workers now to restore them, and they also take a longer time as well. Just out of curiosity. Okay, the next upgrade, obviously, I'll have to be in classic Greece by then. All right, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to be able to do the... Um, the range one in a while, but we're going to have to talk about that because it's getting a little bit more complex to do upgrades. And you might notice that my uh, tailor is a little fancier now. Yes, I upgraded this. Let's take a look at it. Now, I can actually still do wool from here. And I can do a bigger chunk, too. Remember, it was 10 for 10 minutes. Well, now it's 30 for 30 minutes. But then again, that means that the smallest concentration of time there is 30 minutes. And you can see I'm actually working on these little jackets here. I forget what they call them again. Linen shirts. Linen shirts. Uh, and I really do need them, actually. Because, uh, like I said, yeah, there's some new things afoot here. For instance, let's take a trip over to research. All right, so I have these three right here, which I put the research points into, but I have not unlocked. Let's take a look at them for a moment. Uh, oat production. All right, this one I'm going to be targeting first because it's going to let me build an extra average house. That means I can have two more workers, so that's a good thing. Uh, I only seem to need that. Wait a minute. I don't have any way of making those. Well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Iron pendant. I can't make an iron pendant. Hold on a minute here. What do we have here? Okay, moving on. Onks. Okay, onks. Um, do we have iron pe Okay, I see iron pendants. There we go. We'll be able to make iron pendants. But wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. I need 450 iron pendants to be able to make iron pendants? I do not understand. Well, it uh, appears that we do have something new here, and it came with this. And by the way, this was let me upgrade my uh, barracks, by the way. This one right here, trading. New feature. Let's check it out. All right, and give me the money. All right, so the trading takes place over here. So let's click on this. All right, so... As far as I've seen so far, there's two things that I can use. I'm guessing trade relations is a multiplayer thing. Don't really know about that. I do know about these. All right, so what this is, is you're going to sell items in order to buy items. We'll see in a second here. Now, you look at the top here. You see the little fellow there, the four of four? I'm guessing those are one for each of these slots here. I don't really understand that. I don't know why there's four right now, but yeah, I guess for the future, right? All right, but you see on the left there, there's like a new kind of a coin there, and I have 750 of them. So what I would do here is I would select that which what I want to sell, right? Now, let's just say I was going to do alabaster idols, and I'm just, if I sold all of them, I'd get 2,110, and I could say, well, wait a minute, I only want to do, say, 100. I'll get 1,000 for that. All right, backing out. If I went down to linen shirt and I did all of them, then you can see that's 3,225. So I would end up building the, uh, the trade items so that I could sell them to get that. Then I would go over to global offers and I would see this individual who's talking about all these deals that exist right now. And there you see the trade items. And of course, I do believe that these are other people. I don't know if it's some kind of a pseudo thing they're creating or something like that, but it does seem to be people here. 
and let's just say I had 3,600 of these, well, then I could buy those 240 uh, iron whatever they were. I don't remember. Hold it a minute. Uh, iron pendants. That's it. Iron pendants. And that is actually what you're going to have to do at this point because you can't make these. See, I can't make the, uh, where is it, the marble bust. As a matter of fact, the marble bust, if my memory is right, I mean, look how far I'm going, by the way. Look how far I'm going. The last thing that I can make in this era is the uh, marble bust. And I have to have 170 marble busts to do that, too. And what is that last one? Hold it a minute. You see the one with the eye there? 1700? What is that? Is that a trade good? Okay, I'm guessing that's another kind of currency. Maybe that's some kind of a currency that's taking place here. I don't know. I'm not that far. But the thing is, if you're going to advance, you're going to need that. And um, yeah, as a result, I'm going to have to make a tough choice here. All right, this one here. Like I said, this is kind of the one that I want, which means I'm going to need 50 iron pendants. I'm going to have to search to see if I can find a good deal because those were kind of expensive. I also, what I don't need is, well, let's just go down one. Shepherding. This is going to allow me to upgrade the uh, domestic farms and then I'll be able to construct another small home. That's one worker. That's the reason I'm not interested. But I'm going to need the marble bust for that one. Don't have them. And then down to masonry, well, I would actually have to get the linen shirts, which I can manufacture. It'll let me upgrade the, uh, the average home, which means they'll produce more money, but they won't give me more workers, you know? And workers are kind of a thing now, so that's, I'm gonna sell the shirts. That's what I'm gonna do. In order to get the uh, iron pendants, I'm gonna sell the shirts because I don't know what else I'm going to do otherwise. Oh, and I've had some of these guys lying around. I see there's another one here. I don't know. By the way, um, apparently togas are in right now. We approve, Sabina. We approve. All right, we'll just do this for now. In case I need three of them. I had two lying around. Uh, I might need three of them. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm making these things, and uh, I have to sell them because I need the iron pendants, right? So why don't we go back over here because that's the upgrade that I want to do. All right, let's see. I mean, I only need the linen shirts for that. And I think they're probably the most expensive one. I'm just going to sell them all. I'm going to sell them all. Yeah, I'm going to sell them all. Um, did somebody else? Okay. Oh. Okay, so in other words, I have to wait for somebody to buy them. I didn't realize that. You know, when they actually showed it to me, I got the money immediately. I'm guessing they were just demonstrating it at that point. Okay, so, I mean, there's not much I can actually do at this point then because I kind of have to wait for that to be done because I can't have make the iron pendants myself. So this is the trading system as it exists now. So I really can't do anything until that deal is done. And I will continue to make these. As a matter of fact, here, take that. Because I have to restore them there, don't I? And, um, yeah, it's going to be a while before I can upgrade the artisan. And uh, what was the other one here? The stonemason. So they're like way at the end. So in order to get the uh, trade items for them, well, I'm going to have to do uh, trading because it's a trade item. All right, I have done some missions over here, uh, including upgrading one of my workshops, the one we were just looking at. So let's just see what we can get here. All right, uh, this one right here, complete. Well, our new goods are already popular, and I sense changes in the air, Chief. Indeed, a trader has sailed here from across the seas with news of exciting new possibilities. Okay, I think we just met her. Okay, that's useful. Wow, that's, I think that might be the first time they gave me gems. I have been lucky with finding gems. I actually found two stashes of 25 today. Um, but th that's actually kind of useful. It would have been more useful if one of them had been iron pendants, though. Okay, and this one. I've already done that, though. Friend, I spied your trade port on my travels and guessed you would accept my direction in the art of trade. My name is Jara Arahir? I don't know. 
and I would be honored to aid you in this endeavor. Okay, so collect... Okay, so I'm going to have to wait on that one, ain't I? Um, I have to collect linen. That's probably from my own shop. So we're going to move down. Because a bull by the horns. I've been working on this one, so I acquired the uh, white regions. I also scouted that one. Have two commanders... At level three. Okay, I can actually do that. So why don't we do that right now? Because I do have those points. I just haven't used them yet. Um, inventory. That's right. They're in my inventory. All right, so let's see. I can do both of them. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can do Inanna. I'm going to do Inanna. And they're done. And I can raise somebody up if I get them. All right, let's see. Put that back away, and we're back over here. There we go. Complete. King Minos. You may have pushed my forces back, but be wary. A bull is at its most aggressive when it's cornered, and it's when it's tastiest when it's being served up in a barbecue. Okay, some more research points that I can't use. Okay, Sitting Bull. You do not look like Sitting Bull. I'm not moving. You understand? As the designated son of a deity on this planet, I have divine right to stand my ground. Hey, feel free to stand there. Okay, acquire five regions? Oh, my. I'm going to have to get busy, busy, busy. Is that it? Okay, I think that's going to be it for now. All right, the battles have been costly, but then again, I do actually have one ready. And of course, we have our new soldiers over here, so let's take a little trip to the battlefield. I've already scouted the next location. I think it's the next location. It's over here. We'll see after this, because we're going to beat him, of course. Um, whether or not there's another location and this one, we'll have to see. I'm not getting a territory from this one, which is a little upsetting. I'm getting a chest. I'm guessing maybe there's special parts in the chest or something. I don't want to click on it and see. I want it to be a surprise. All right, so this is going to be the last battle here. I already took the previous location, and I also incorporated that into my city. Okay. Um, hello. Thank you. The placement of his troops is very questionable at times. For instance, we, in the last battle, we had another instant where the, the ranged people were here and there were, like, melee behind them. I don't understand why that is. Uh, they died horribly. Okay, so let's see. First, we'll put our new and improved. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Maybe it's just that they look better now. I don't know. All right, so what I usually do is I put them in front of their melee... And here, and then you can go up here. All right, and let's throw out some of these. It's probably going to be a while before I can upgrade them. There's a very high concentration over here, so I'm going to put the two ranged over here. And we'll just put these in the middle here. And let them charge through that gap. Hold on a second, right there. All right, and of course, our commanders are a little bit stronger now. So let's see how this goes. Okay, heal right in there. Heal my horses. Okay, and I right, hit them. They're full of bull. Okay, a lot of my horses are still alive. Okay, a lot of my horses are still alive. I lost just two horsies. Yeah, these guys are going to take a while to restore, though, now. I wonder if he's upset. He probably won't say anything. If I have to acquire five pieces of land, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to say anything. Unexpected. Your continued presence is a troublesome thorn in my side. One I hope to remove shortly. Speaking of short... Oh, okay. The Minoan Watchtower. Okay, I clicked on it. How many pieces? I just got two pieces? I mean, I took a piece of land and that's all I got? Really? 
Okay, fine. Yeah, the research points, they're just going to sit around for a while, ain't they? Okay, so there is actually another location to scout. Which one is this? Okay, the Forgotten Wilds. Okay, so what do we have over here? My spies tell me you have built arenas to better train your armies. Impressive. But I will not be daunted by your research. Okay, cavernous outcrop. Okay, they messed that up. I guess they were having trouble squeezing in the P there. Anyway, it's going to be a while before I can do battle again. Uh, mostly because of my arenas. All right, for instance, this is going to take a lot longer now. Um, and it takes three workers now. So watch, you see that? Boom. And if I do this one, that's going to take four and a half minutes. Not as bad as the cavalry, but it's still going to take much longer than normal. And over here. All right, how many do I got left? I didn't lose any of my archers, but I did lose two horses. And you can see the horses, they're going to take 10 minutes for two of them. Ugh. Ugh. Right, so yeah, I mean, the thing is, the fights, I got, I, you can see I have all these pieces of land now on the side here. Um, does the next one, hey, let me just check something. Not what I was looking for. Actually, was there a new one? No, no, I have to actually acquire the last piece of land for that. I'm curious, does that last piece of land, or the one that I actually have down here, does this actually give me something? Okay, I'll get another piece of land. And what are you giving me? Okay, I'm going to get pieces for wonders. Okay, uh, at least I get more land. That's really what I want. I want more land. Because one thing that I can do, and now I think I'm going to do it, is I can actually build another one of these. See, I upgraded this one, but I can actually build another one. Where is the workshops? See, one of two. So in this case... If I'm going to be trading like the linen shirts in order to get those trading coins, then I probably should um, make as much as I can. I'm still going to need wool too, so I could have one working on one product and the other working on another one at the same time. Anyway, there's not really much else I can do unless someone has actually purchased my... Uh... No, no one's bought it. Okay. I don't know if anybody's going to buy it. Who knows? I was selling all of them, that way I could get the pendants, guaranteed. But maybe I'll go back and I'll just sell some of them. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, I think I will trade that, change that trade here. Maybe I should do two of them. All right, here, delete the offer. And let's see, maybe I'll do... Hold a second. Like 80? I'll do 80 for this one, and then maybe I'll do 80 for this one. To make them more palatable, you know? Because I do need those coins. One person may not need all of them, but they may need 80 or something like that, right? Okay, and you know, I should probably just open these guys up because clearly I don't have any missions. Food. Like, here, let me just ch let's check here. Right, I need to do the linen shirts for this one. I need to capture another region for this one. And I haven't even seen Valley of the Gods yet, so that one is probably going to be a while. So there's no sense in not trading these guys in. Because you need to get rid of these in order to get better ones. You know, like the ones with the gems. Yeah, I got 13 of those points and I got nothing to do with them. I suppose, did I put them in here? I could put them here. I mean, otherwise they're going to waste, right? And I really should hit the button on this one and start doing that upgrade. As a matter of fact, you know, I should probably just start doing that now. Yeah, we'll just start the upgrade on this one because it will give me more money, even though I really don't need a lot of money. Oh, yeah. All right, so let that one go. Uh, the other one is actually a better one for upgrading because uh, my food is lagging behind the money I'm making, greatly lagging. So I may have to like move things around in order to make sure that these guys have the best happiness that there is. I mean, a couple of them are pretty good over here. Um, the two average ones are doing very well, and two of the rural ones are doing well, too. I don't even use the rural ones, except on occasion, because they cost so many workers. I need workers. 
I need more workers. I mean, these guys here, each one of them takes three, and if I have all of them going, then each one of them is taking three from me. Which one do I need the most? Probably the bronze bracelet. I'll get that going afterwards. Anyway, I, that is about it for today because there isn't anything else I can do. My army's being restored. It's going to take 10 minutes to get that back. And then again, I can't do anything until somebody actually takes my trade and I can actually do one of these uh, upgrades. I'm targeting this one because like I said, if I get another average home, I get two more workers and that's really what I'm focusing on. Um, what's interesting is that I looked beforehand. If I had composite bow available before I got rid of the shirts, I would have been able to do that one. It's just that we haven't unlocked that one yet. I had everything I needed. So it's all about trading now. So I'm going to be wheeling and dealing. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to build another one of these when I have the workers for it. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.